Hi everyone, I'm Angela, someone with gray hair at Silver Linings, and today's video is a follow-up of a video I did on Tuesday asking, did I make a mistake in buying this wig that you see on my head? Her name is Lexi. I'm going to talk about her right here, right now, on Silver Linings. My purpose is to help you save time and save money in your search for your perfect silver gray white wig or alternative hair. Okay, so here we go. Let's answer the question, did I make a mistake? I think that the answer has to be yes, but I wonder what you think as you're taking a really first look at this wig, which I got into my hands under $50, and, and as I said before, I, I talked about this on Tuesday, and I said that I was going to review her this Thursday, M March 3rd, 2022. Now, let's take a look at how Lexi looked in the advertisement at eBay. You probably can see why I was attracted to this wig. I wish that they had put her a little bit on a darker background because I couldn't really see what was going on at the top. But if you look at how I've got her on my head, and I've tried to style her just like this picture. I haven't put any product in her yet, but I've tried to tried to style her like the picture and I'm having the darndest time doing that. Now you could she, see she's got these little flippy doos out here. I don't mind that so much. Um, my hair would never do that because my hair is being straight. I don't have any hair wax with me here but I do have some Jean Reno spray gel so I'm going to try to do a little bit of styling and I'm no expert at styling wigs, but I'm just going to try to do a little bit of styling with this gel and see if I can get it to be a little piecier because it looks like that's what they did. But even before I do that, I have to say that I do like the color. Now, in my mirror, I am very white, as you know, but this color 60 without any other color in it can tend to look costumey-ish. Um, and so unless I could get her styled and maybe put a little bit of depth into her with some, some um, a dark powder or something like that, I think, honestly speaking, I probably wouldn't wear her. And so this is, this is a teachable moment for me and a teachable moment for you. So um, in a moment, I'll do a spin for you, but I've got the, the gel here, and I'm going to just spray the gel if I can get it out. I don't even know if it'll come out. Oh, it won't come out. So I'm going to have to take the top off, and um, I'm just going to put it right into my fingertips and see what happens. With this piece, these pieces right here that are kind of sticking straight out and they are there's they're sticking straight out so I'm just going to let me get rid of Lexi for a minute I'm just going to try as I said to weigh them down a little bit I mean honestly if I'm gonna do a short wig I want to be able to put the wig on my head plop it on my head and go just like I did with Chase the other day like I've done with Sparkle like I've done with so many others so but it's that hair <laughs> I think I made it worse that hair just wants to stick straight out so I think probably the only thing that you could do and she has no permatease, as I've already said. She's writing back. She, her fit is, I would say, a true average. And an average cap, because I'm average to large, still wants to ride back on me. I didn't put on any it stays because she doesn't have a lace front. So I only have the, um, the machine-made front. So I know I'm rambling a bit, but I'm just trying to figure out what am I going to do with this thing? Can I do anything with this? I mean, you know, for $50, if you can have a wig that you can work with, she feels pretty comfortable on my head. She's open wefted. She's not hot. And, of course, I'm sitting in a studio with hot lights on me. 
Um, and so I like that, but I think that just this part right here, because you're not going to be able to use any heat on her, maybe cut into those into those bangs a little bit. Let's bring Lexi back. Okay, so maybe just cut into those bangs a little bit. I'm not sure. What do you think? Could you do anything with this wick? But see how I'm trying to get her to just, she's got these big pieces right here, and in the picture with Lexi, it, it just looks more piecey. So let me see if I pull this behind my ear. The ear tabs are very small, so you really can, you really can tuck her. She's very tuckable. So let's see what that does. And pull this out a little bit. And also in the picture, she doesn't look quite as white, right? She looks like she's got some kind of dimension to her. Also over on the eBay site, here's the other mistake I made. Over on the eBay site, they only have a couple left. So, okay, what if there's 10 of you that want this wig? I didn't even think of that. But I did write to the seller and ask her if she would have any more that she'd be getting in. Not that I think a ton of you are going to go buy them, but I don't know. I mean, every, everybody is different, and everybody has, let me do a spin for you, and everybody has different experience with, with wigs, with styling a wig. I haven't even looked at her in the back yet. See, I, I really don't think that she looks bad at all. I mean, you can... The coverage is pretty good. But it's these bangs that want to stick out, that just want to stick out straight. So I think... <laughs> I'm looking at myself. So I think that... Um, I think that you'd need some, some hair wax, definitely need some hair wax. Definitely, if you want to get this wig, you'd want to work with this right here, get one of these types of combs, right? Want to get one of these types of combs, and then just begin to work with her. I, I, might, I might even wash her. Um... To get this to lay down, I think that this this happened in the box. What's going on with her with her bangs? But I I do like the way, or I did like the way that she looked up here. I liked the height that they got, and I have a very short forehead, so I think that uh, this model, this mannequin, probably has a very high forehead. But that's basically it. I don't, there's really not much more I can say, but she is very, very white. And then you see, you can see right in there, as I said the other day, she's a little nesty. But if you have short hair, as one of my subscribers already said, you could, you could pull her through. You could pull that, look at that, she's sticking up now. You could pull her through. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I do think that the answer, if you want this wig, is hair wax. That PC wax that you could add to just tame, tame these fibers right there. And I'm trying to pull her down so that she's not so in my eyes. So let me just uh, wrap this up. If you're still with me, you deserve a medal. <laughs> let me just wrap this up with a couple of with a couple of comments. Here's another video that I did a while back with white hair. Now this is Isabella, and Look how red my face is. That's because it was so hot in that studio that I was working with. My guest room got so hot. That's why I had to move down here to my office. 
Um, but Isabella by Envy in light gray. And this, even though they said light gray, and I mean, look at the, the swatch. It really looks like it's got a lot of gray in it. This wig, when you have her in your hand, is very white very white and if your hair isn't naturally white you probably would look in the mirror and go oh my gosh it's too white she works for me okay and then I did a review of um, of Sparkle by Raquel Welsh and then again you know Sparkle's got a lot of white this color was um, Iced Granita uh, which I believe is RL5651. I'd have to look it up. But I was kind of hoping that this wig that I have on my head would be somewhat like Sparkle. And Sparkle has a machine made top. She doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, but I popped her on my head and out the door. Out the door I went. So if you look at Lexi and then you look at Sparkle, again, maybe some wax some hair wax is really all we need and maybe a little bit of dark um, rooting powder just for some depth or gray rooting powder even just for for some depth and then uh, here is another white that I did a while back last summer and this is I think this is Marion in color number 60 now here's another white now you see the difference between these whites and again the camera does weird things lighting does weird things doesn't she look like she has a lot of gray in her but she's color number 60 by Jean Renault and tr trust me when you if you have her in your hand and you know this this color and you know this this brand she's very silver white it's kind of amazing how they color these wigs Okay, let's take a look at the inside of the cap construction for Lexi. You can see that she has the open wefted cap. Totally open wefted except for the front here right at the hairline where you're going to see that piece of uh, felt, cover felt, that's going to set right against the hairline. It's going to be nice and comfortable on your head, especially if you don't have any hair. She also has the hair spliced in right there at the hairline that's going to make it look very realistic when the wind blows or you push your hair back. Again, open wefted on the sides. She has the bra strap like adjusters. She has the lace covered extended nape she has let me see if I feel any stays in her ear tabs yes I do she has teeny tiny stays uh, right here in her ear tabs um, so that'll be great if you have glasses sunglasses um, or you just don't want to have a lot of bulk at the temple one other thing I want to say about the cap construction here um, if you look very closely, and I talked about this the other day on my preliminary review of this wig, um, is there's not a ton of hair up at the crown area. Now, if you're all white, that's not going to be a big deal for you. Uh, I've given this some thought, and I think really what, what will happen when you put it on your head, especially if you have white hair or, you know, light gray hair, um, it's not going to be too much. I'm looking right into the cap. There is no permatees. No permatees at all. The hair is not dense. There's not a ton of hair. There's enough hair to cover. Uh, enough hair to cover. Again, especially if you are, if you have white hair already. Okay, but not too much. Her denier is silky. It's fine. And it's obviously... A beautiful shade of white color number 60 as I land the plane I want to share with you a wig that's a great value that I did find today over at wig studio one one of my favorite places to shop and it is a clearance wig today March 3rd 2022 so if you like what you're seeing here don't wait it will be gone and it is in the color 5660 everyone 
and it has a petite cap petite cap so if you're average to large you will not like this but if you're petite then this is going to be a great wig for you and um, we can see that it was reviewed by crazy wig lady and uh, you can just I'll put the link below and you can go look at that and it is I believe ready to wear uh, open wefting in the cap and it is not a lace front it does have a memory cap ready to wear pre-styled okay and no it doesn't say that there is any permatease but as I said I'll leave the link below and if you're interested in this color um, 5660 by Raquel Welch is a beautiful, beautiful color. One of my favorite colors, and it's very, very realistic looking. Before I sign off, I did want to remind everyone, because this is new, that I do have a website that I'm building out. Here's what it looks like. You just head over to someonewithgrayhair.com. There's the URL right there, someonewithgrayhair.com. And then as I add content, it'll go pop into these little post blocks. And for instance, today I'm talking about Lexi. I will put a, more information up on that after I um, finish recording. And of course, this, this video will be up on the website as well. Um, I also have a page over on Facebook. When I sell my wigs, you'll see them on, on Facebook. I'll announce it on Facebook. And I do have an Instagram account, but I don't do too much over at Instagram. I usually will just throw up a picture of a wig uh, from a review that I've done. And I do have a store over at Amazon, and often I'll um, post my wig videos or product videos over there. So again, if you want that wig, this, this wig right here, this will not last. Petite cap, everyone. $85.08. Quality wig. Beautiful color. I hope that that helps salvage this, this review today. But the lesson that I learned is this. Yes, you can find a good value on a wig on a wig under under a hundred dollars and every once in a while you can even find one with some bells and whistles but if that price is really really low and if you don't recognize the name of the company then I my advice is to stay away from it now I that it does not I don't mean to take anything away from the seller the seller was terrific the service was wonderful fast all of that and there may be some people that I don't know who you are. If if you're someone that absolutely loves this wig, I want to hear from you because I want to know why. Because that adds to my knowledge base. But if you think, Angela, you just really missed the mark this time. What's the matter with you? I want to know that too. <laughs> as much as I would as much as I want everybody to say wonderful things. I'm learning right along with you and I'm trying to give great content. I'm all about teaching. I'm all about color. I'm all about quality. I'm not just a wig reviewer. If you follow me by now, you know that. So I'm so glad to have you with me today. If you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. As I mentioned the other day, Ukraine is so much on my heart. If all of a sudden you don't see me in the next week or two, it means that I've taken a, a little time away from production and I'm spending that time interceding in prayer for the Ukrainian people and for our world. So having said that, everyone, I just want to remind myself and you to always look for the silver linings. They're everywhere. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks so much for watching.